Hi guys, it's Dom D. Calx, and today I have a program that I wrote a very long time ago. Um, now this one is to solve for Kramer's rule, which, as you know, if you're watching it, or as you probably know if you're watching this, involves a bunch of matrices and it's really complicated and I hated it. So, I made a program for it. So, real quick, I'm going to give you a preview of it here. So, let's go ahead and run it. Alright, so... This program allows you to choose between a 2x2 two two, a three, or a 3x3. Three three. So, to begin, I went online, found a tutorial, and this was the example the guy gave. So, it's 5x plus 7y equals 13, and 2x minus 5y equals 13. And the answer is x equals 4, and y equals negative 1. So, we're going to choose, that's a 2x2, two two, so we're going to choose 2x2. Two two. So, it says input coefficient of x. So, as we saw, the coefficient of x is 5. So let's go ahead and do that. 5. Enter. Input coefficient of y. Now that's 7. Now it says input answer. The answer is 13. Hit enter. Alright, so now it says input coefficient of x. That means that uh, you should put the second line. So in this case, it's 2 then negative 5, you have to be very careful. If you would just put in 5, this wouldn't work. It has to be negative 5. There's a subtraction sign. So negative 5, and the answer is 13. Alright, so as we can see, it says x equals negative 4 over negative 1. The reason it doesn't just say 4 is because sometimes these won't come out perfect like this one did. And in that case, um, you want the most simplified form of the fraction. So this program actually simplifies the fraction and then shows you the fraction. So you will have to just, if it's even like this and if it comes out even, you'll just have to look at it and go, oh, negative 4 over negative 1, that's 4. Um, I think most people can do that. It's not really a big deal. Um, and it's actually very useful because it simplifies everything for you. So it's the only thing. And then if you hit enter again, it comes negative 1, or 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1. And um, that's that. So, as you can see, that works. Now, it takes you back to the menu, and this time, I have another example I got offline. And this one is for 3 by 3. As you can see, there's three equations, and it's x, y, and z. So, let's begin. Um, for starters, let's see if I can get these both. All right, so choose three by three. Input coefficient of x. So if there's none in front, it's obviously just one. So then coefficient of y is two. Coefficient of z is three. And the answer is one. All right, so this time we have a negative x, so that's negative one. Okay, it says input coefficient of y. But in this equation, there is no y. So what you do is you just put 0, and then you hit enter. And then you have 2z, so the 2, and then the answer is 2. So go ahead and put that in. All right, and then this last one, there is no x. So you just put 0 in for x like you did before. Then the coefficient of y is negative 2. z's coefficient is 1, and the answer is negative 2. So as I said before, this is the simplified form. It's negative 5 over 3, which we can see here, uh, 13 over 12, and 1 over 6. So this is one of those cases where it didn't, didn't come out perfect for any of them, and it simplified it, and that's why it needs to be that way. So uh, that's the program, and then if you just hit exit, it takes you back, and you can use your calculator just like normal. Thanks guys, uh, click the link in the description or there's an annotation to take you to a playlist which will show you how to make this program. It's actually, com it's uh, three programs combined. Uh, thanks guys, see you next time.